This is Five Minutes with Languages and Cultures staff, and my guest today is Patricia Koromokis, lecturer in Greek Studies. Patricia, tell us something about yourself. Hello, Yasna. Kalispera se olus. Uh, my name is uh, Patricia Koromokis, and I am a lecturer in a Modern Greek Studies program at Macquarie University. Um, I feel uh, blessed because my journey at uh, Macquarie University actually started as a PhD candidate back in uh, 2013. And uh, after receiving the Vice Chancellor's um, commendation for academic excellence in uh, 2017, I have uh, stepped into uh, the role of lecturer by uh, teaching a modern Greek language and culture um, unit and uh, developing uh, research uh, language uh, projects. Um but you also conduct a very interesting research that is community related. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, my main um, area of research is a second language acquisition. So one of the most uh, recent uh, research uh, projects uh, which I have uh, developed is uh, the project with the title Learn Greek. Uh, for better communication in aged uh, care sector, um, uh, which uh, is uh, a funded uh, partnership between a uh, university and, um, and a bilingual uh, aged um, uh, care uh, organization uh, under the Macquarie University Enterprise Partnership uh, Scheme. Uh, this innovative um, Greek uh, language uh, research project mainly aims um, to build bridges between the university and the workplace as an example of professional development by equipping uh, the foreign staff of uh, the Greek aged care facility uh, with uh, Greek uh, language oral skills and um, Greek uh, cultural awareness, which they can uh, use effectively during their everyday communication with the elderly uh, residents. So I assume um, the people you're teaching um, Greek, uh, modern Greek, are not Greek or don't have Greek heritage, right? So how it is for them and for your students who are not of Greek uh, background to, to learn Greek? Uh, this is a very good uh, point, uh, Yasna, and uh, question. Um, actually, uh, the majority of uh, students who enroll in uh, modern Greek uh, units uh, mainly have Greek background. However, uh, there are students and a lot of students with non-Greek uh, background who study uh, uh, Greek uh, units because, and other also languages because they feel that this will contribute greatly to their uh, career. So for Eng English speakers, um, could we assume that because English has learned so many words from Greek, um, that Greek is rather easy for them to learn? Yeah, it is a fact that uh, a majority of English words um, uh, are derived from, uh, from uh, the Greek uh, language. So this um, works as a solid basis and a confident start uh, for students to start studying Greek language because uh, probably they can guess easily and quickly the meaning of uh, Greek words and not only the meaning but also the spelling. But to be honest, um, learning a language, it is uh, always uh, a creative but also challenging uh, process. Okay, but can you also prove that every word has its origin in Greek as this famous theory? <laughs> uh, no, I can't prove that because not every English word has its roots in uh, Greek uh, uh, in Greek language. But um, a recent example is I was trying to explain to the students, um, for example, pandemic. 
this word, unfortunately, uh, has Greek background. So I was explaining the meaning of the two parts of this compound word, what, which uh, is their meaning uh, in Greek. So they can, uh, so this can work as a as a procedure, as a as as, as a linguistic procedure uh, to them. For you mentioned you mentioned pandemic. So how is this pandemic has been for you. How are you coping in lockdown and working from home? You'll probably miss your students, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, look, it's the same situation for everyone. Um, I always try to think uh, positive, even uh, during the most challenging periods in my life, like uh, this one. Um, look, on one hand, um, working from home, online teaching enables me and my students to work and, and learn from our own uh, environment. Uh, however, um, teaching online uh, could not be effective if it's not well combined with time management skills, because for me, I could end up uh, 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 being in front of my computer forever. Uh, now, certainly there are things which I miss. I miss, uh, uh, first of all, the freedom of movement and the face-to-face -face communication with my students, with my colleagues, as you said, and uh, being in my new office at the Arts uh, Precinct. Um, however, I enjoy more time now with uh, my daughter uh, during our uh, daily uh, breaks we go out into the sunshine and uh, trying uh, to and we try to be uh, active for me um, uh, balancing um, the positive and the negative aspects of this situation of this period and uh, taking time uh, off to to appreciate what I have uh, it's a way which uh, certainly um, boosts my resilience uh, during this uh, difficult uh, period. Patricia, if I want to thank you for this interview in Greek, what's the word for thank you that I would use? Okay, the Greek uh, phrase for a thank you, thank you very much, is ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, Patricia. Thank you very much, Yasna, for this uh, beautiful uh, interview.